Hey, I'm Mike, and this is how I got a $209.99 inverter for $34.99 from Vever.com. I ordered this inverter online. I was very careful to select a 110 volt inverter that would work in the US. Vever sent me a 220 volt inverter, which will not work. I emailed them and said, hey, you sent the wrong thing. They emailed me back and said, hey, send us pictures. I sent them pictures. They emailed me and said, you got what you ordered. You ordered a 220 volt. I emailed them back and said, no, I ordered 110 volt and you guys sent me a 220 volt. They said, no, you got the right thing, but we'll refund $30. I emailed them again and said, no, look at the order. It shows that I ordered a 110 volt inverter. They emailed me back and said, no, you didn't. You ordered a 220 volt inverter, but we will refund $90. I created a video. In the video, I open up the order confirmation email. I click on the link. It shows that I ordered a 110 volt inverter. I play around on their website. I show that their website is messed up. Even when you select 110 volt, it still shows a 220 volt. I send them the video. They email me back. They say, no, you ordered a 220 volt inverter. They send me a screenshot of the order. In the screenshot, it shows that I ordered a 110 volt inverter. They offer me $150. I say, no, I email them back with their own screenshot. I say, look at it. It shows that I ordered a 110 volt inverter. At this point, I realize it's gonna cost me almost 30 bucks to send it back. So I say $175 and we're done. They agree to it. They refund $175 to my PayPal account. And so this inverter costs $34.99. So what am I gonna do with a $34.99 220 volt inverter? Well, I'm gonna open it up and I think there might be a way to switch it to 110 volt. I might be able to get this thing to work. I don't know yet but that will be another video. Hey, thanks for watching.